Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. U.S. House passes $13 billion Ukrainian aid bill. Outrage at bombing of Mariupol hospital. Summary of headline article. Aid bill includes $6.5 billion to send troops and weapons to Eastern Europe. And $6.8 billion to care for refugees and provide economic aid to allies. Follow the latest. Live. From BBC under the main headline of Russia could launch chemical attack in Ukraine, White House. Summary of headline article. If you are reading this page and can't see the form you will need to visit the mobile version of the BBC website to submit your question or comment or you can email us at haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk. Please include your name, age and location with any submission. From the Independent under the main headline of Pentagon says US does not support transferring Polish fighter jets to Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky blasted the decision in a video on Wednesday. Calling the US concerns a technical issue that should be solved immediately. Speaking at the Pentagon's daily press briefing. Mr. Kirby further explained the Defense Department's reasons for objecting to Poland's plan. We, along with other nations, continue to send him these weapons. And we know that they are being used with great effect. The slowed Russian advance in the north. And the contested airspace over Ukraine is evidence alone of that, he said. Mr. Kirby also said Ukraine currently has several squadrons of the Soviet-made jets in fully mission-capable status. From the Independent under the main headline of UK under growing pressure to waive visa requirements for Ukrainian refugees. Summary of headline article. The Ukrainian ambassador has urged the British government to temporarily lift all visa requirements. For those fleeing his country, with pressure increasing on ministers to act over a system that has been heavily criticized. In this horrendous situation swift action is needed to make sure the process of getting a visa is simple, accessible and quick. Meanwhile, thousands of refugees grappled with the unbearable UK visa application process in other European countries which has seen many forced to wait for hours in the cold and travel for miles. The government's family visa scheme is extremely limited and restricted, with visas granted to hundreds of people, a pitiful number, and a fraction of the need and application numbers, he said. Mike Adamson, chief executive at British Red Cross, said, right now, as countries across Europe have done, the UK government must waive visa requirements for those fleeing Ukraine. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Russia has used thermobaric bombs and conscripts. In Ukraine. Mod. Summary of headline article. Tihi Ministry of Defense says Russia has confirmed the use of thermobaric rockets, often called vacuum bombs, in Ukraine and is also deploying conscript troops. The mod said its Russian counterpart had confirmed the use of thermobaric rockets creating incendiary and blast effects in the invasion. A video posted to Twitter by the mod said the weapons were used by Russia in both Afghanistan and Chechnya. Russia earlier admitted that conscript soldiers had been sent into Ukraine and that some have been captured by Ukrainian troops. He added that some conscripts were taken prisoner by Ukrainian forces while serving in a logistics unit and efforts are underway to free them. From Mail Online under the main headline of Shackleton's Endurance is an eerie testament to exploration history. Summary of headline article. 
It was, however, a particularly bad year for sea ice. He was buried on the island, while his legendary vessel, Endurance, would remain beneath the icy waters. An eerie testament to one of the most thrilling and inspiring episodes in the history of exploration. Endurance was trapped in sea ice and slowly crushed before sinking in 1915 on Shackleton's Daring. Trans-Antarctic Expedition of 1914-1917. He and his 27 crewmen made an extraordinary escape on foot across the sea ice and in small boats. The thrill of discovering the wreck of explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton's ship. Endurance is so great that we've almost forgotten we're in one of the most inhospitable and marginal places on Earth. From The Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine War Mark's paradigm shift on the scale of 9-11. Says Liz Truss. Summary of headline article. The Russian invasion of Ukraine is causing a paradigm shift on the scale of 9-11 in how democracy will confront future threats. The Foreign Secretary, Liz Truss, will predict in Washington on Thursday. In previous remarks, she has qualified her attacks on authoritarian regimes by saying some regimes that do not intend to undermine the West can be treated differently. Number 10. Pressed on Wednesday on whether it regarded Saudi Arabia as an authoritarian regime. Hedged. The invasion of Ukraine is a paradigm shift on the scale of 9-11. It instead appears that the Foreign Office fears the UK legislation. Due to amendments passed by Parliament. Provides too many avenues through which Russian oligarchs can appeal sanction designations in their. Courts. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine. Private militias recruiting former soldiers. Summary of headline article. They've all been telling me not to go. That I'm a bit crazy for wanting to go and there are different ways to help. But it feels like the best way to help is by being on the ground. From the Telegraph under the main headline of fracking back on the table as Putin shakes. Foundations of UK energy policy. Summary of headline article. Whether the UK's fracking industry will ever return in practice remains very much in doubt. However, with many hurdles ahead even if the moratorium were ended. Fracking involves pumping a mixture of water, sand and chemicals into rocks to release trapped gas or oil. It has been used in conventional wells in the UK since the 1970s but using it on shale rocks is more intensive. The U.S. started producing gas from shale rocks commercially in the early 2000s, helping it become a net exporter of natural gas in 2017. The British Geological Survey has estimated there is 1,329 trillion cubic feet of shale gas trapped in rocks ranging from Scotland to Sussex. From the sun under the main headline of refugees desperate to get to UK bust further away. Pretty. Is letting them down. Summary of headline article. But 200 refugees were promised they would be allowed into the UK after being processed in Lille. Paris or Brussels. In total. Up to 2 million people have fled Ukraine. With at least 1.3 million pouring into neighbouring Poland. The train went very slowly. About 20 miles per hour. They are now among more than 2 million refugees. Mostly women and children. Who have been forced to leave their homes by Vladimir Putin's invasion. For full TNC's visit redcross.org.uk slash mobile the Ukraine crisis appeal will support people in areas currently affected and those potentially affected in the future by the crisis. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.